bit of YouTube. Today I'm back with Bone Crafter. I had teeth in my hand again. They fell out. They didn't make it to dinner. Well, they made it to dinner, not dessert. Dessert was a bowl of cereal, and I didn't wait for it to get soggy. Guess what? I'm back. I know I've been quiet the last few days because I've been feeling like absolute shit. Um, I started some new medicine, and it, um, and I have migraines, and um, I'm trying to get them under control because. Here, let's all sit down and I'll tell you a little story. I have had migraines since I was 15. I am 31, right, currently. Yeah, yeah, 31 currently. Um, I was taking, I used to take Amatrex when I was in my 20s, like 25 and younger. Once I met my husband, I kind of went off all meds, which isn't the smartest thing you can do, especially when you're bipolar. <laughs> It is what it is, you know. Um, and then, let's see what else. Um, then from about, I want to say, 26 to this year. So that would be five years. I have had constant, annoying, ridiculously painful mouth. So I've been popping Advil, Tylenol, Aleve, anything over the counter. For pain pills for my mouth so I was constantly in pain constantly it was ridiculous so I didn't feel the headaches because I was in pain with my teeth they were that bad obviously they're bad enough to have to get them all pulled so there was that so now that my teeth are out I'm not constantly taking any I'm not taking anything for pain and I feel these migraines with a vengeance I thought, you know, new climate, new place where I'm living, it would be different. No, I still get them just as much and just as frequent. So when I went back to the doctors last week, I told her about them and I'm like, they're getting worse again. I need to get this under control. So now I'm on Topamax, which it works. Still by the end of the day, I'm still getting a headache, but um, we'll figure that out. Um, hmm. What else? I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, we're now playing the let's see what kind of medicine works game. And, um, yeah, now it's just take the teeth out, enjoy my evening. I went back to work today. Yay, I missed work. I must, it's nice to go back to work and actually be missed, which is a plus for me. I, I like my work. Um, and not to mention my boss, my mother-in-law, is the bomb. And I, I just, I missed, not only is she my boss and my mom, she's, not only is she family, but, you know, she's a friend. And it's just, it, it life isn't right unless I, I see the people there. It's like, I need them in my life. And I miss them significantly, so it was nice to be back at work. Not that it's really work, and well, oh, there's a hole in my shirt. <laughs> Surprise! Um, until you're mess mucking out a stall for the week, then then, um, yeah, then it then it becomes work. <sighs> We've had rain from Friday to yesterday, every fucking day. Rain, snow. Something was falling out of the sky. We had it. Do you know what happens when you have a stall with a roof? Uh, with a um, yeah. It 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 was bad. And she, th there's really nothing you can do about it because um, it it was just it it was dirty. It needed to be cleaned. It, it gets cleaned out once a week. I normally do it. And normally the reason why I would do it is because my second husband, the horse I love to ride, Kodiak, was normally in there with the bird mare. But um, we were getting close to baby time, so Kodiak came out and went in another pasture, and it's um, getting ready for baby watch now. We still have about another month, maybe another, well, today's the fourth. We have about three to four weeks till it is full on, but we like to be a little more prepared than not, so 
we took him out of the picture early so she has time to get used to not having the pen mate because we don't want a gelding killing buffalo that would suck big time so we have that um other than that you know it was a, it was a it was a great day it was beautiful out it was windier though much fucker but we live i live in colorado it's always windy here you get used to it after a while so i think that's pretty much it let's get these teeth out you know do our nightly routine and oh yes i think this is what i'm going to do um starting with this video i'm going to do it at night and have it post at 7 a.m. Eastern time, so it'll be 5 a.m. my time. So 5 a.m. Mountain time, 7 a.m. Eastern time. And for people like Margaret, that'd be 6 a.m. People in Cali, that would be um, 4 a.m. And people in Cali, if you're getting up at 6 a.m. 4 a.m. to watch my videos, dude, you're a you're, you're awesome. Because I'm sorry, I'm not even getting up that early to watch YouTube. Gotta fill up my denture dish. Okay, let's see if we can do denture dish without overflowing it tonight. I swear, another day goes by that I don't overflow this fucking thing. And I know, um, the, the bill guy that I like to watch. He was talking on how he keeps his teeth clean. He normally washes them with the antibacterial soap, which I totally respect, and I do too sometimes from time to time. But I normally just like to um, get it on on my face. There we go. There. Minty. This glue actually tastes good. It's really minty. Um. And then we'll just pop these in there. Hey, guess what? I did it just right today. Perfect. No overflowage. Oh, awesome. Oh, it's a good day in the neighborhood. Um, everybody has their own way of doing it. I prefer to use the stain away. I do drink a lot of coffee, but, you know, Bill drinks more than me. I have the dirt stuck in my mouth. Yes, I'm covered in tattoos. I've got tattoos everywhere. So, that's pretty much it. That's it for the day. I think 10 minute video is pretty good. So, if you just got your, if you just had your E day and you're getting your dentures, congratulations. And if you just had E day, hang in there. It'll get better, I promise. It's gonna be intense the next few weeks, but hang in there. Um, if you just got your dentures and you're from, and you've healed already, congratulations. It's a process. Take your time, don't rush. I've had mine now for, going on three months yeah three months it'll be three months on the 14th give it time it takes time okay it's a process I wear mine now like it's nothing it I just put them in and go it doesn't bother me and um, if you don't want to deal with a lot of goo and ooh these things are awesome and they give cushion too I love these things and another thing this is good too the poly grip Powder. Love this stuff. I'm switching to that only and only using um, the glue as backup and that's going to be polygrip too. Um, 
And I think that's pretty much it. And if you're just watching my channel for the sake of watching my channel, thank you for keeping me company. I appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're old to the channel, what's up? Margaret, how you doing? Laura, hope all is doing well with you. And hi, Dean. I got your message this morning, so I couldn't text you. I was driving. And I hope everyone has a wonderful night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye.